Today we're going to do a deep dive into Active Track for the DJI Air 3S. We're going to look at all the settings, play with all the parameters for people and for vehicles. Of course, I'm going to demonstrate them all. We're going to do it down the park and I'm going to go jump on my bicycle. You'll need the drone on just to look at the settings to adjust the inner and outer circle. So I'm just gonna set this down and show you those before we start. So the first thing you do is go to the top right hand, three little dots, and then go along to control, and then just scoot down to focus track settings. And there you can see, uh, you can make adjustments for person, people or vehicles. Okay, so if we go to people and we can see we've got uh, outer circle and inner circle adjustments. So when the drone's moving around you or following you, uh, this is how close or far or how high the drone's going to be. So we'll just look at a couple of examples of that. So let's start off by adjusting the inner circle. So let's say we've got it at for four meters and the outer circle will double that to eight meters so there's only going to be a small difference but it will and um, let's say if we could move from the inner to the outer it will widen the circle for example and then we can look at the height so let's say um, we want to coil out, so let's go to a, um, the inner circle is lower, so we'll put that at uh, three meters, and the outer circle is going to be eight meters, eight and a half. Uh, start with those settings, and then you can see how that'll affect, we'll change them again, then you can see how that's going to affect what the drone is going to do. So let's just get the drone launched. Take off. Home point updated. So as you can see, um, the drone's looking towards me. And so I'm gonna touch these um, little square with the dot on the left-hand side. And this will bring up the focus tracking um, recognition. So it'll see anything in the um, view. So let's say there's some people walking over there. And you can see that's picked them up as well. You can draw a line around yourself or touch the green square crosshair uh, like that. So if you wanted to track it around an object, you could draw um, a line around it. So let's say I want to go around these, um, the old Roman wall there. So you can see it selected that. And as it starts moving, it'll do a location lock and it will move around that. So we can show you that shortly as well. So let's go back to myself. To do the active track, you can see there's a little symbol there saying C1. That's the button on the bottom here, C1. So if you just press that, and you can see it's already selected the uh, focus tracking, it knows it's going to do that, it's already activated that, and it's brought up the um, selector there. So at the moment, it's selected as following me. So let's start walking, and it'll start following me. Now we can tell it to go from the inner to the outer circle. And as you can see, it's following those rules that we set. 
so we can draw a line with our finger. So let's say we want it to come round in front of us, turn to the side. And it will just follow that rule. So let's go back into the selector. And let's change the outer circle to be a little further away from us. And already the drone has started to move away and the outer height will go to 15 meters. It was a bit more closer to, there we go, 15 and 15. It's nice, we're following the one one rule and the inner circle we've got it. Let's put it at five meters and five meters. There we go. So now I want it to be in front of me, coiling around the inner circle. And although I'm walking, it's still keeping that distance. And again, you can draw a circle around you like that. And you can see it's just moving up and out as we've asked it to do. Now we have got auto mode here. So this will just do a variety. So I'm just going to walk and this is going to follow me and it's going to make its own decisions and give a variety of movements around me. Sorry, madam, just, I'll just get that out of the way. Yeah, just safety thing, you know. Interestingly, she's keen to walk straight underneath a low drone. Right, so we'll bring him back down. Now, if the drone is too far away from you, these features won't work. It needs to be at a certain distance to be able to work. Right, so back into water, let's go for a little walk. Birds are a bit noisy today. So as you can see, it's changed direction. So for creative content, this is absolutely ideal because it's just going to give you a variety of shots to choose from. So I think for content creators, well, these are really very useful. So you can see on the screen the different maneuvers that it will go through. Next is one of my favorites is Spotlight. So you can see we used it just now to uh, do the B-roll for me cycling down into the park. So we can obviously park it in the sky. So we call it like a tripod in the sky uh, and it'll just track you. So I'll just show you that one more time. So there it is. It's just tracking me. As I move around. Really handy, really useful. Okay. Another way I really like to use it is it's locked onto me, but I can now fly the drone around and it'll uh, 
just keep me center. As you can see, and it works really nicely. So it just means I can do lots of crazy things with the drone. Just concentrate on flying it and know that it's always going to have me in the middle. So I'm just putting right hand stick there and it's just going to circle around me. In fact, that's working at quite a good distance there. So that's Spotlight. So next we can use Point of Interest. Point of Interest is quite nice because, again, it'll do an automated manoeuvre around you. So as you can see, it's showing a, a right and left arrow and then I can just slide that one way or the other. The more I slide it, the faster it will go. So let's say, um, when I push to the right, the drone will move to the left. That's the thing I've always noticed. So look, if I just do very slightly slow, nice, easy pace. There it goes. And it's moving to my left, even though I've done that to the right. Uh, and that will just give a nice circulating shot. And I can still put some input in. So I'm just pushing the drone up and it's still going round and doing this manoeuvre. And I'll do it the other way and we'll, we'll give it some speed. So you can just get an idea, Put a bit higher for safety. Uh, and it's just booting round me, yay. It's really nice. Gives that fabulous dynamic shot. It's good, isn't it? And that will keep going until I hit stop. The main thing to remember when you're doing any of these maneuvers is to actually press the record button because like quick shots, that'll be automatic. That will click on once you've initiated the, the um, action. With this, you've got to start the record. That's all your um, shots covered there, all your options apart from the vehicle shot. So let's just go and take a look at that. So we're doing exactly the same again, where we click the dots on the side and we're selecting our vehicle. You can see that's come up and we're staying in spot mode. So uh, because we're in a built up area, I've put this at uh, over 50 metres because I've got a 50 metre bubble. And so I'm using the telephoto lens and uh, just to look at the options for the car, we look at control, focus tracking and for the vehicle and we've set this as a let's say 25 meter radius, 50 meter outer radius which is the maximum. We'll do the inner height, uh, sorry at 25 out height at 50 because we're in a built up area i'm not actually going to be using this so um i just want to show you a couple of the features with spotlight and point of interest so let's uh get on the move and we can see how this responds drain up in the air over there so that's good
So that's doing a beautiful job of just circling around us whilst the truck's moving as well. So it looks like it's following us and moving, which gives it a lovely cinematic feel. That is working beautifully with that lovely telephoto lens. And of course we can make it move slower or faster in different directions as we did before. Do active track uh, from behind, and it should do return to home in a second. But let's just see how it responds. There's a link in the description below to the Air 3S or for any of the content creators kit that I've used to create this video. And if you want to learn more about the Air 3S, there's a playlist over here. Please show me the love, subscribe to the channel by clicking the link up here, and I look forward to seeing you over there.